intermediate 1v1 skills. Again, have some fun with these. I'll just say it one more time, like I said in the beginner tutorial, I want freedom, I want to be creative, I want you to mix things up. When it's time to do the skill in the middle, that's what you focus on. You do it sharp and you get away quickly. But when it's time to turn, I want you to be creative and use all your different turns that we practiced in the other videos. Okay, getting really low to the ground, nice and sharp. But I want this realistic, like you would in a match. In a match, you're not strict and rigid and doing the same pattern 10 times in a row. It's always creative, it's always different, and you need the ability to improvise on the spot. So if you screw up, just get that ball back as quick as you can. Keep going, fast forward for those 30 seconds. Intermediate skills, five exercises. So first one is a Matthews. So in the beginner, we did that outside skip, and I said that was a really important touch. It's gonna keep coming up. The Matthews is, I'm taking a heavy touch. I don't know if heavy is the right word, but you'll see what I mean. I'm taking a touch here, and then boom, I'm exploding, okay? It's two touches. It's one, two. But I'm trying to shift the defender's body weight by moving the ball here, and then exploding there, okay? And I still want, I don't want this touch here. If you can go and use that skip and explode here and then forward, get away from him. Okay, but that's the first skill, Matthews. So just really focus on this touch here. When you're doing this touch, I need you low and then explode. If you're, if you're up too high when you're doing that, from here, look, I can't go and I'm doing a really poor example to emphasize my point, but it's hard for me to explode if I don't have that bend in the knees when I'm taking this touch. Boom. Okay, so Matthew's first one, big touch, explode, go the other way. Next one is a rollover, and it could be a toe drag, and I want you to play with both of them while you're doing this exercise. So, I'm dribbling at the defender. I'm going to roll the ball over and move into space, okay? Left foot, right foot. Better than that. Okay, or toe drag. Toe drag. So, talk about it again. This is, I was building on the croquetta touch from the beginner tutorial. This one, I want you to think about the same thing, but now it's a roll, so a roll over, or a toe drag, or it's kind of a mix of both, okay? But play with it, and again, I don't want to roll here, and I don't want to roll slow, I want to really pull it into myself or across my body so I can actually get away. Okay, play with the toe drag as well and really try to whip that back into yourself. So I'm dribbling at him. It's reaching for the ball, pulling away from the defender. He's lunging for the ball. He's saying nope and going the other way. Okay, so that's the second one. Play with those two while you're doing it. Have fun, like I said, expressive. Right foot, left foot. And again, I'll say it sometimes, if you're watching the video, sometimes I might go two times right, two times left. Sometimes one time left, one time right. Just switch it up. But please, please, please use both feet. Okay. Moving forward. This is probably one of the toughest ones. It might, it might have a place in the advanced tutorial just because it was giving me some problem and I think it's really just because it's such a tight space but this is great for your footwork, this is challenging, this is what you want. Okay, so a pirouette or a maradona spin, dribbling at him, pulling the ball away, spinning the body and dragging with the other foot, the opposite foot. So it's with the toe 
and the sole of the foot. Now I've got this little cone in here in this little space. Sometimes I'm stepping on him, so really focus on your footwork because if I'm going to make that spin, but I just spin right into the guy, I'm getting tackled. And a lot of people do Maradona and it's like, we're up here wet, and it's kind of something just like that, but there's not enough change of direction on it. So what I want to see instead of, instead of just like a spin like this, going straight into the defender, is more of like a pull back. So I'm actually pulling it here, pulling it here, something like that, okay? Pulling here, pulling here. So think about a, a bigger pull, a longer pull, and a better change of direction. And I need you to get here, bend the knees, okay? If I'm going into them and I'm standing up too straight, I'm just gonna get tackled as soon as there's a little bit of pressure on me. Someone puts a hand on me, I'm gonna fall over or lose possession of the ball. Okay, so Maradona, spin, and play with it. It was a tricky one. I kept stepping on the comb like that. But good skill, tight space. Make sure you're, you're spinning right and left because if you're going the same way, you're gonna get really dizzy on this one. So alternate, switch it up. Okay, move forward. Two more exercises. These two, you'll recognize them from the beginner tutorial because it's a step over and a body faint again, but I'm doing a double. Okay, so first we'll do step over, dribbling at, step, step, escape. Fake left, fake right, go. If I'm dribbling with my right foot, I'll usually step first with my right, then with my left. If I'm dribbling with my left foot, I'll step left, then step right, and then take it away with my left. And what's that touch there after I make the movement? Okay, quick peek, it's skip. It's that skip touch. Quick peek, and go. Okay, so get the rhythm, and then I really want you to challenge yourself with the speed, the speed of those, those steps, tack, tack. And also, the cell, the body positioning of it, okay? And you can start to see how the balance stuff, the explosiveness stuff, how important that is when I want to make a quick move and get away from a defender. Okay, so that's the fourth one. The fifth and final one of this routine is the body feint, similar, and it is feint, feint, and go. Feint, feint, okay, and go. Feint, feint. So play with it. Sometimes they might be just nice and tight like that. Sometimes it might be bigger. Okay, but if you are doing the bigger, remember, remember that reducing the time that you sit in this movement here. I'm gonna be slow and then slow. I'm not beating anyone. Okay, so it's it's quick. And that outside touch to get away, that outside skip to get away from the defender. Okay, get the rhythm, add the speed. If you're tired, just go at a slower pace, but keep the ball moving, take care of the ball. Practice the technique, focus more on technique rather than explosiveness. But over time, we gotta challenge it. The idea of this course, this program, is faster footwork, faster feet. So if you're not challenging yourself to move your legs faster when you're tired, you're not gonna be able to do it in a game when it matters most. I just wanna talk about the uh, approach because I don't think I mentioned that. When I'm approaching him, I'm usually, and this is super small space, but even in a match, I'm kind of setting myself. Usually when I'm setting myself, it's this, it's this outside touch like we've been doing in the other videos, that delicate touch, it's, re, it's coming back again and again. Okay, so like one, two, and then I'll explode. So approach, and then whatever skill that you're going to use. Okay, intermediate 1v1 skills. Let's keep it going, you're doing fantastic. Day seven, have fun with it, and these are things that you can apply in games. Be creative, use them in practice. There's no point in practicing these at home if when you go to training or matches, you're too afraid to use them. Use them in the game, fail in the game, who cares? Don't worry so much about this one practice or this one game, you gotta have long-term vision. So if I never fail 
in my U14 Sunday league, like, that's not a big deal. To you in the moment, it's a big deal. I understand that. But the bigger picture is you in five years, you in 10 years. And if you don't fail right now, you can't succeed in the future.